As that old saying goes, one man's trash is another, well, it's another man's garbage? Something like that. The point is this plastic may find its way into your next vehicle. Magna's sustainably designed seats incorporate both recycled and bio-based materials. Plus these chairs are designed to be recycled at the end of their lives. According to experts, this is a prime example of sustainability, but I'm skeptical. I'm Craig Cole and I ask the deep, thought-provoking questions so you don't have to. Why do I need safety features? I never intend to crash. Quick question about drive throughs Why can't I order roast beef from KFC? Can you build a car that runs off of carbon emissions? Because it sure sounds like there are a lot of them. To learn more about the S word and why you might want a career in the mobility industry, I've loaded my clipboard with questions and sharpened my favorite ballpoint pen because I'm sitting down with Dasha Pushkareva, sustainability specialist at Magna. I'm told she has all the answers. We'll see about that. So who are you and what do you do at Magna? My name is Dasha Pushkareva and I'm a sustainability specialist at the Exteriors Group of Magna International. I support our manufacturing facilities all over the globe to reduce the environmental impact of our operations. So what is sustainability? Walk us through that. Sustainability is the practice of meeting the needs of the present without compromising the ability of future generations to meet their own needs. For Magna, sustainability is embracing innovative solutions and integrating sustainable practices into our operations and our products. So why should I care about future generations when I live today, right now? Well, a lot of the decisions that we make today, they affect how society will develop and what consequences it will endure tomorrow, next year, and 10 years in the future. So it sounds like sustainability, the goal is to really save the planet. But by my count, there are at least four other planets in our galaxy alone. So why do we care? Well, we live on planet Earth today and will be in the future. So for now, we're trying to take care of this planet. So how is Magna reducing energy consumption? Because you guys have a lot of facilities all over this planet. I don't know about any others. How are you reducing consumption at these facilities? Because that's a core component of sustainability, right? That's true. Uh, Magna is actively working on reducing energy consumption by implementing energy efficient technologies and promoting energy saving practices throughout our facilities. Have any of the employees been trained to work in the dark? Because we all know shutting lights off is a great way to save energy. That is an interesting idea. Um, it's a good one too. I don't think that it would be safe for employees to work in the dark, knowing that there's a lot of heavy machinery and potentially you know, hazardous situations. Uh, the so-called energy teams at our plants are constantly coming up with and implementing creative solutions. For example, recovering waste heat that is generated as a byproduct of one operational process to be used in another one. And how is Magna working to reduce carbon emissions? Magna has committed to a net zero carbon emissions target. We're reducing our carbon emissions by implementing energy efficient technologies in our operations, by investing in renewable energy technologies all over the world, and by improving fuel efficiency and using sustainable materials in vehicles. Could you just hire more chimney sweeps? I hear decarbonization is their specialty. Chimney sweeps? Um, the technologies that we use today are far more advanced and require a more intricate solution. Well, that's, that's not what I heard, but I'll trust your answer. Um, I've heard Magna has sustainability ambassadors. Tell me more. Sustainability ambassadors are, are employees that are interested and passionate about sustainability and act as advocates within the company. 
They raise awareness and um, champion various sustainability initiatives in their respective areas of work. Do the ambassadors get diplomatic immunity? And if so, I'm interested. I don't believe they do. Mm, then are they really ambassadors? Maybe they do not meet the legal definition of the word ambassador. It's more of a metaphor. Hmm. Materials can play a big role in sustainability. What might we see in the future? An example would be using a particular plant together with an existing plastic um, composite to uh, manufacture a, say, a plastic bumper or a seat. All right, Dasha, a little bit of role playing. We're in the car, we're taking, we're taking a road trip to Northern Michigan. We're driving along, we're on I-75. We just crossed the Zilwaukee Bridge. The beautiful fall colors are out. What, what do you see? We're cruising along in a, a modern EV. It's super quiet. Oh, beautiful view, uh, mm. like a scenic crowd. And then our EV breaking the silence, our sustainable seat made of plastic. Are people gonna want that? Oh, let me lean over. Oh, did you see that over there? Oh. What's that? I can't hear you. Is this really the future? One of the things that our researchers and engineers have to ensure is a, is a, is a comfortable driving experience. So I can assure you that no driver will have to worry about any sound like that. So how did you get started in this business? My journey at Magna started when I joined one of our exterior plants as an environmental intern. And I um, learned more about how much opportunity there is to integrate sustainable practices into automotive manufacturing. That, that sounds like a lot of responsibility for an intern. I mean, would you be giving those same opportunities to other interns? I mean, could you trust them? Oh yeah, absolutely. In fact, one of the things that was very important for me as an intern at Magna is that I knew that my opinion was important. I knew that it mattered and my ideas were taken seriously. Why would somebody want a job in the automotive industry or the broader mobility space? For someone who is interested in contributing directly to the positive impact on the environment and the planet and society, it would be very valuable to work in that space. Additionally, mobility industry develops and evolves very rapidly. An individual who is interested to be at the forefront of developing and researching and implementing a cutting edge driving technology could benefit greatly from working in this industry. People that are in college that want to work in the automotive space, the mobility industry, how much can they expect to make? A career in the mobility industry is a very fulfilling and rewarding choice where one does not have to sacrifice pay. So if somebody was considering between the tech industry and the automotive space, they're not gonna be giving anything up then? That's right. People with coding skills, with programming skills, with data analytics skills work together with many other professionals to design and produce a modern cutting edge technology vehicle that provides a, an excellent driving experience. Students that are about to enter university, what should they be studying to get a job, have a career in this business? What are your recommendations? Recycled and innovative materials, courses on environmental and automotive engineering, classes in sustainable business practices, as well as environmental policy. Asking for a friend, are there any positions for a journalism major with a minor in political science? I would refer your friend to go to our website and browse our career opportunities there. Well, Dasha, I learned a lot from our discussion here, and it sounds like there's a very bright future in the mobility space, specifically regarding sustainability, but does Magna have any plans to hire chimney sweeps? Because I was thinking about applying. Well. So that's the story with sustainability, why it's so important, and what companies are doing to build a greener future. I certainly hope you learned something from this video, and maybe you'll even consider working in the mobility space. I mean, heck, I'm thinking about applying myself.
Speaking of sustainability, click right over here to watch our EV Basics episode where we answer the age-old question of whether EVs are actually cleaner than combustion-powered cars and trucks, and the answer just may shock you.